Healthcare is constantly changing, evolving with new discoveries, medications, new techniques, and new equipment. At the heart of all the advancements are care providers that inspire and direct innovation. They blend any innovation with their knowledge and experience to enhance the care provided. With acuity levels on the rise and reimbursements often in decline, the equipment, the tools used by healthcare professionals need to be selected with cost-benefit ratios in mind. Then carrying out their work, knowing that their education, training, experience, and common sense play an incredibly huge role in achieving the needed outcomes and providing excellence for the patients and for their facility. If a company or a sales rep tells you that their beds will treat wounds, you don't need to turn patients. Beds don't treat wounds, you do. Turning patients, repositioning people, it's a lot more than just pressure sore prevention. It's a way to assess a person's condition, to see what might be needed, and to provide the human-to-human -human contact that does more than you can imagine. If you ever doubt the value, ask a hospice patient or a nervous child. You have more of an effect than you might realize. The rescue's entire makeup and purpose is to support patients comfortably and provide the environment to not only prevent pressure ulcers, but promote wound healing. While wounds, their cause, and their healing can be complex and challenging, the rescue, from its sheer force reducing cover, its layers of cushioning material, and its ability to offload pressure away from the body's most pressure sensitive areas, has been proven clinically effective for pressure ulcer prevention and in the treatment of wounds, stages one, two, three, even uncomplicated stage four ulcers. The rescue has been serving patients and providers for more than 15 years. Its design with supportive layers and pressure redistribution zones complement the care that's being provided and contribute to better experience for you and your patient. Vaporproof, shear reducing top cover. The top cover is a treated nylon with a unique ability to prevent moisture of any kind, even vapors, from passing through into the mattress. The shear reducing material is comfortably thin yet very strong. Highly resilient surface cushion. Unlike memory foams which accumulate heat or conventional foam which weaken and sag, this high resiliency material is more durable, more comfortable, and cushions the patient's every move. Hip and shoulder support. Weight specific support underlies the shoulders and hip area with greater support given to the hip area. These supportive layers are positioned to help offload the pressure away from sensitive areas along the spine and sacral area. Ultra soft center line. Gently cushions bony prominences, whether lying flat, sitting up, or side lying. This is the area that offloads the pressure points, which is so helpful for comfort, prevention, and for treatment. Extra support. Base and perimeter support is enhanced to ensure that the heavier patient won't bottom out. The firm edging provides stable support for getting in and out of bed or just sitting at the edge of the bed. Heel suspension. Heels can be tough to protect. Rescues provide specially engineered suspension systems to soften the mattress's foot end, suspending the heels without descending the lower legs. The Rescue GS incorporates design features of the standard Rescue, but adds additional high resiliency materials to extend the supportive capabilities to the heaviest of patients while still being soft, safe, and comfortable for the lightest of patients. GS, it stands for gentle strength. When comparing the rescues to far more costly mechanical systems, the rescues consistently match or surpass their potential. This begs the question, does spending more actually get you more? Just recently, a Milwaukee area hospital sent us one of their two-year-old rescue mattresses to test and compare to a rented low air loss mattress. Regardless of the subject's body type or weight, or which surface is looked at, the performance of the used rescue, the new one, and the low air loss mattress all tested very well. Changing the elevation had greater effect on the interface pressures, showing again that all three surfaces would be effective, and that raising the head of the bed elevation higher than 30 might not be advisable for the higher risk patient. Measuring comfort can be difficult, but the German Institute of Health compared the rescue to the country's leading memory foam mattress 
with patients suffering with chronic pain. While both were better than the standard hospital mattress, the rescue scored much more comfortable by the patients that were suffering. They also looked at how often pain meds were requested and how often call lights were pressed. This time, less is better, as those resting on the rescue needed less meds and called for help for comfort issues less often. Not having an air pump, a power cord, has often led people to believe that the rescue isn't as good as something that does. However, in a series of studies done across the country, 80% of the patients moved from those more costly products did better on the rescue. It has a top side and a foot end. The blue nylon should be looking skyward with the heavier vinyl bottom down on top of the bed frame. You can make the bed with normal linens, draw sheets, and if needed, incontinence pads. Mattresses can be wiped clean with most properly diluted hospital cleaning solutions. We've seen mattresses having fabrics with significant changes to their color and appearance. This is caused by using solutions or disposable disinfectant wipes that were formulated for hard surfaces like tables and bed frames. They're not appropriate for fabrics, nor are they effective at cleaning the fabrics. Properly cared for, we've seen hospitals get 5, 10, even 15 years of use from their Comfortex mattresses. Probably the most frequent report of damage to your mattress is going to be a torn top cover, usually caused by the sharp edge which has popped up from an x-ray plate. If this happens, the cover can be zipped off and easily replaced, and you might want to look around for that x-ray plate. Should a mattress need repair or replacement, please contact your manager or give us a call and we'll do all we can to take care of you. We can also provide a list of some of the cleaners that are best for fabrics and our mattresses. We'll put up an 800 number in just a minute. Know that each mattress is serial numbered for identification and quality checks. Give us the number and we can tell you when it was made and every batch of materials that went into that process. Also, to help identify when a mattress went into service or if it might be time to replace, we put a unique, brightly colored tag with that year's date on the mattress. Want to replace all the mattresses bought in 2014? Just look for the orange tag mattress. The mattresses purchased in other years will be labeled with a different colored tag. Over the years, we've invested hundreds of thousands of dollars in R&D, and now there are hundreds of thousands of rescues being used around the world. Our company is dedicated to building effective tools for patient care, knowing that in the hands of skilled professionals, well-designed tools can do great things. For 30 years, we've been the designer and manufacturer of healthcare services, but what we really want to be is your partner. If we can do anything, anything to help you help others, please let us know. Thank you.